UFC 234's co-main event. We'll welcome New Zealand's hottest prospect, who hails from the country's largest city. African-born Israel Adesanya is a unique character in the world of martial arts. One whose lingering childhood imagination gave him perspective and identity. When I was living in Nigeria, I used to look on TV at the people and what they were doing. Like, man, it'd be so cool to live in America. It'd be so cool to do this. I want to be a Power Ranger. I want to be a Ninja Turtle. When I came to New Zealand, I realized, you know, the Western world's a little bit different. I was trying to fit in too much, and I got bullied a lot. I didn't sound like the people here. I, I never really fit in, so now I just, I'm just doing me. I'm just being my own self. Adesanya found his purpose in a small corner of Auckland at the city kickboxing gym which is now adorned by a wealth of combat sports prizes, a collection heavily contributed to by Adesanya. See all these checks behind the wall? Three of them are mine. Two of them cruiserweight, one heavyweight, and they go along with these belts. Adesanya going in for the kill. King of the Ring belts are behind there. What a shot! Just beautiful work. That's my AFC belt. That's one of my last MMA, MMA titles from Australia. Middleweight champion! That's my hex belt. I got that one as well, from Australia. Yeah, we keep racking them up, just as we do. Joining Adesanya at UFC 234 will be featherweight Shane Young, who recognized his teammates' abilities early on. In New Zealand, we have some of the best kickboxers ever, and he's fighting three of them in one night, and then a couple days later, he goes and fights some of the best boxers in the world and beats them in both their styles. It's almost as if the UFC was made for him to come in and just show all these different styles. So here he is, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and this man is calm, cool, and collected. It's pretty rare you see a guy make his UFC debut with this kind of hype. Strikes are quick and they're accurate. Now starting to take Wilkinson apart with the strikes. That hurt him. Israel Adesanya. So so according to him. The rest of the strikers in this division, you're on notice. Stars make fights. I'm the style man. I know how to adapt to each and every single one of them. You can't touch him. It's hard to find when to throw and what to commit to. Oh, Adesanya lands a flush right. Faking, he's switching stances, giving a bunch of different looks. I can fight going forward. I can fight going backwards. Take down attempt for Tavares. Oh, wow. Look wow. at Adesanya now. Nice defense there by the New Zealander. He has been the boss. He has been the bully. He has led the dance. And the last style bender is starting to go to work. Sideways, I'm ambidextrous, bystanceful, trademark. The unbeaten Adesanya burst onto the scene. Another combination. With three UFC wins in just five months. Israel, the last time. So the promotion would match its surging prospect against top 10 knockout artist, Derek Brunson. I'm in his face, I saw him. He can't even control his emotions. He's just coming in here trying to flex. Don't worry, November 3rd, I will deliver. Israel, you're skinny, bro. Hey, you better lift some weights, man. You're skinny as hell. I'm not worried about you. Bring that chin on the platter, and I'll clean it off as well. So here is the unflappable Israel Adesanya, fourth UFC appearance here tonight. I mean, he's just so effortless and fluid in the way he throws those shots. But this is, without a doubt, going to be the toughest guy he's ever faced. I mean, Derek Brunson has a real resume. Does the hype train continue tonight? Look at that, right bottom. Good early sign for Adesanya, able to stay upright. The right hand of Adesanya got Brunson's attention. He's got to be careful that Adesanya doesn't set him up for a knee as he tries to do that as well. They all underestimated me. Derek Brunson is so strong. They just kept on saying hype, hype, hype. And I am the hype train, and I ran him over. Oh, oh he stunned him. Oh, big left down right. Now the uppercut in the knee. Can he survive? Gentlemen, 
That's the last style bender, folks. They don't know. I started the game at level two. They're just loading, so I got in his head. And I got him to start to work and shoot. I keep saying, man, I don't throw in hope. I aim and fire down the barrel. The next step in Adesanya's rise will come against an opponent unlike any other in mixed martial arts. Anderson! He is in big trouble. Anderson Silva! Another down the goes Franklin! Former UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva. The new champion is entrenched in the history books he is the best he's the best pound for pound fighter on the planet for his record 16 fight win streak a brilliant job by the champion it saw him defend the title he's the fastest he's got the most accurate strikes he's got the most well-rounded game and obliterate light heavyweights as well that's Silva it trying to finish it it's done the fighter This fight's gonna be stopped right now. Oh! He front kicked him in the face! Wow! Oh, yeah, he rocked him! He hurt him! Ladies and gentlemen, the most dominant champion in the history of martial arts. And he's a gifted athlete. He's always been gifted. He has the right amount of everything. He has the right amount of agility, the right amount of confidence. And people seem to forget. I mean, a lot of times out of sight, out of mind. But I can tell you, um, you know, don't blink. Anderson Silva is still Anderson Silva. And I'm very confident that Anderson is going gonna, gonna to win this fight. Silva's career has more recently been defined by tough decision losses to world-class opposition, including former middleweight champion Michael Bisping. Bisping is looking to hit the switch on Silva. Michael's pouring on the pressure. And reigning heavyweight king, Daniel Cormier. Good ground and pound here by DC. But while the spider returns at UFC 234 from a two-year layoff, he emerged victorious in his last outing. Perhaps the greatest legacy this octagon has ever seen and remain active inside the gym. I never stop training. Every single day I try to make my mind better and my martial arts skills better and my personal life better. To prepare for the striking challenge posed by Adesanya, Muay Thai coach Jason Park has brought in glory middleweight champion Alex Pereira. When you defend your defense, we'll put your hand in front, Anders. Take the time to enter and throw it together. Alex Pereira! He's fought all over the world in kickboxing, brings a very electric and exciting style that leads to many knockouts. One of those knockouts being Israel Adesanya. Alex is the best kickboxer in, in Brazil, and I try to absolve everything Alex gives me. He brings a lot of knowledge to this camp. We can understand not just pure Muay Thai, not just pure boxing, not just pure kickboxing, but being able to blend elements together. Die. <laughs> Silva will be well prepared for the talented Adesanya. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And a high profile win could mean a storybook ending to a Hall of Fame career. Guarda, Alex. Guarda em cima. Isso, Anderson. Isso aí. Esse time você tem que pegar, ó. Dez segundos. Israel is the great talent, and I pass this. Hopefully, I fight for the belt, and I win and take the belt and drop the mic. It's done. Over. During the heyday of former UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva, he not only defended the belt 10 times. Ladies and gentlemen, the most dominant champion in the history of martial arts. He raised five children. Win triangle, street. watch out! Triangle, this is trouble! He's tapping! Including his oldest son, Gabriel. 
Growing up as a kid, people was like always oh, mention MMA and then Anderson Silva and be like, oh, that's my dad. Looking to finish the fight. A brilliant job by the champion. His son's in the octagon with him, celebrating the joy of victory. When I moved over here to the U.S., I decided I'm going to do this. Like, I want to follow the same steps. Middleweight champion of the world. Now 22 years of age, Gabriel is preparing for his amateur MMA debut this year. Faz um chute, Gabriel. Faz a mão, faz um chute, Gabriel. This gives me something scare, you know, because he's my son. Fighting is not easy. Sai lateral, Gabriel. Vamos sair lateral, Gabriel. Isso, faz o golpe sai lateral. Faz a sai lateral. But I say, you love this? Okay, keep doing it. Essa guarda sempre alta, tá? Vamos deixar essa guarda sempre alta. Get to learn from the greatest of all time. I'm fortunate, you know, like not a lot of people has that many opportunity. A guy that that's been to the sport over 20 years, you know, so that's a lot of things to learn from him. Just not in, inside the octagon, but outside. The more important for me, I try to pass philosophy about martial arts because this helped me for continue in this sport today. Gabriel takes inspiration from his father as Anderson Silva prepares for hot prospect, Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya! That kid's the truth. He could just, like, you know, stop anytime he wants. For him to, like, you know, just say, ah, yeah, I'll take the fight and just really challenge himself, you don't see that a lot. We're training hard, and it's going to be an interesting one. See, what? While well, Auckland is a bustling cityscape, the surrounding areas offer a wide range of natural getaways. And when UFC middleweight Israel Adesanya is not inside the gym, he can be found reaping the benefits of New Zealand's peaceful environment. It's cool. It's um, refreshing and just kind of grounds you. That's why I like to take my, my shoes off or my gum boots off and um, be in the water, in the land, hey, on the grass. Do not trip me. And just, yeah, just relax, get away from everything. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> People get to see like 15 or 10% of my personality through the filter of the TV or the screen. It's part of me, but it's not all of me. I've got a platform now, but I don't really need anyone's approval. I don't need anyone to like me. Billy, come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. I'm not your idol, I'm not your guru. I'm not your friend. I'm just a regular dude who does extra regular Hey, she is Millie. a dragon. Millie, come here. Chill. Good boy. Nice way. You behave. Nobody knows Adesanya better than his team at City Kickboxing. With four fighters preparing to compete at UFC 234, they attribute their success to the gym leader. <laughs> the energy that Izzy brings, you know, that's so contagious to the gym. It brings in that positive vibe and everyone feeds off it. I will bite with Jeff. He's not just a big heart, but he's also a crazy destroyer that just takes apart men. I just bring this pizzazz to the game that I don't even have to try. I'm in the Matrix. I am player one. I've said this over and over again. Everybody else is still loading. We're always pushing each other to be the best we can be. 
And every week we do uh, King of the Wall. <laughs> we'll put 20 minutes on the clock. Whoever gets the most takedowns, that's a point. At the end of that 20 minutes, the most points win that King of the Wall. I've been around the world, I've trained in different gyms. There's no gym like ours. When you're in a situation where everyone gels properly, everyone understands their role, it's a beautiful mixture, it's a beautiful display. My confidence comes from the work I put in, so people should beat me now or yesterday, because I'm getting better every day. Adesanya will represent his team proudly at UFC 234. Motivated by the idea of a victory over Anderson Silva, who was once Adesanya's greatest source of inspiration. He was someone I looked up to as a kid. And I remember watching him just like, what is he doing? Like, he's just having fun, you know? So I like to have fun when I fight. Ready? Really amazing, the understanding of distance and the ability to control range for Adesanya. Showing some creativity on the strikes. A lot of hitches in his game. Even that Anderson Silva kick right through the center. He doesn't like the comparisons. He said that he's the first Israel Adesanya. He's not the next anyone else. Oh, big right! The difference in speed, though, the way he's able to deliver his strikes, is very noticeable. People compare me to him, but I'm about to do what I'm gonna do to blow past all that comparison. Really beautiful job with that defense. Look at that. Good head movement again from Anderson Silva. I'm not a guy that's gonna Anderson Silva, Anderson Silva. Very efficient with his movement. I'm gonna Israel a diss on you, Anderson Silva. Understand that. Anderson Silva is aware of his influence on the sport. And the footwork is just apparent. That's a big difference. Footwork is huge. But sees no resemblance to his opponents. The people thought, oh, this is your clone and blah, 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 but it's not. <laughs> That's just playing right there, man. He's just having fun. And I don't have nothing for proof. I just tried to doing something special for my team. Even in the twilight of his career, Silva's veteran performance trainers <laughs> plan for the spider to show up in peak physical condition. Hey, for the Melbourne Showdown with Adesanya. Talvez eu tenha hoje o melhor ânsito de toda a história, pela maturi, justamente pela maturidade que ele tem. Lá, nove. E justamente pela, pela tantos treinamentos que ele já fez na vida. Eu quero uma força, mas eu quero uma força com uma velocidade incrível aí, ó. Aí. Às vezes as pessoas ficam dizendo, ah, 43 anos, mas tá com grande mobilidade. Aí, filho. Boa, respira. A grande eficiência dele é a agilidade. Ele está mostrando isso nos treinos dele. Que essa será a melhor versão que nós veremos do Anderson. UFC 234 will close the show with another pair of world-class middleweights. When Australia's champion Robert Whittaker. He is on the mountaintop, and yet he has not even arrived at his fighting club. Puts his belt on the line against Kelvin Gastelum. The power of Kelvin Gastelum is absolutely incredible. These are two guys in their prime clashing. Every single middleweight has to be on notice now. And we're expecting a dominant fight. This kid is on another level. We're going to bring the best Rob Whittaker to date to that night. 